My wife's a lawyer now. I bet you I get out this contract. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo's Whatever Happened To. And today, we're counting down our picks for the celebrities that starred in popular reality TV shows, only to see their rising careers or personal lives be negatively affected as a result. Number 10, Heidi Montag. I want to forgive you and I want to forget you. Bursting into the reality sphere with Laguna Beach, The Real Orange County, and The Hills, Heidi Montag's relationship with Lauren Conrad resonated with fans. But that all changed when Spencer Pratt joined the cast and started dating Montag. Over time, the relationship drove a wedge between the friends. Additionally, Conrad accused the pair of starting a rumor that she had made an intimate video. By the time Pratt admitted to doing so later, the Montag-Conrad friendship was broken beyond repair. Number 9. Mark Bannerman In his early days, Mark Bannerman spent two years as a regular on UK soap opera EastEnders and followed it with the spin-off show Footballer Wives Extra Time. But everything fell apart when Bannerman entered the jungle in 2007 for I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Although he was shown getting romantic with fellow contestant, Karis Matthews, he was dating Sarah Matraverse at the time. After being the first to be voted off, his relationship with Matraverse and his reputation were left in tatters. Bannerman's career never recovered. I've had enough. It just seems like he's gone completely insane. Number 8. Chad Johnson. Problems started for Johnson, a then star in the National Football League, when he struck up a relationship with Evelyn Lozada, a cast member of the drama-filled reality series Basketball Wives. The two quickly tied the knot, but people were shocked when Chad was accused of headbutting Evelyn during an argument. Unsurprisingly, this spelled the end of the marriage, not to mention Ocho Cinco's career in the NFL. I don't know that this is working for the benefit of you, me, the Miami Dolphins, or anybody else. Number 7. Chris Humphreys In the spring of 2011, Chris Humphreys was on top of the world. Not only was he a breakout player on the New Jersey Nets, but he was also engaged to perhaps the most famous celebrity around, Kim Kardashian. Sure, Chris and Kim's wedding was an extravagant two-part special on E!, causing a media frenzy in the process, but the holy union only lasted a measly 72 days, making it one of the shortest in Hollywood history. They've been married 72 <laughs> days. I said, I, I got the uh, cottage cheese older than 72 days. Humphreys was no longer a basketball star, but simply that guy who married Kim Kardashian on TV that one time. Number 6. Adrian Bailon Houghton Adrienne Bailone Houghton carved out a name for herself as an actor and singer with Disney Channel's franchise The Cheetah Girls. She soon found herself in the reality limelight when she began dating Rob Kardashian in 2007. As a result, she appeared in their show Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Although they broke up a couple of years after he cheated, her brief appearance in the show tarnished Bailone Houghton's career. I just am really gonna miss you. Number 5. Jessica Simpson Okay, so Jessica Simpson isn't the only pop star to get a bad rap on reality TV. But it didn't help that the show, Newlyweds Nick and Jessica, really put Simpson's naive personality on display, playing up her dumb blonde persona. Perhaps the most famous example of this comes when Jessica, snacking from a chicken of the sea tuna can, questions what it is she's actually eating. Why is it called chicken by the sea or in the sea? Chicken of the Sea is the brand. Oh. And to be fair, Simpsons then husband Nick Lachey didn't fare much better when the show and their relationship ended. Number 4. Hulk Hogan. So I'll let everybody know. Curfew is 8 o'clock. The VH1 series Hogan Knows Best put the spotlight on the Hulkster's family life, including his relationship with then wife Linda. The couple's problems became obvious throughout the show, however leading to a nasty divorce shortly after its cancellation. Making matters worse, Hogan's son Nick got in a car accident, seriously injuring his friend and landing him jail time. According to Hulk himself, the show exasperated the family's troubles. Number 3. Kanye West Whether it's giving an impromptu performance on the SNL stage or crashing an award show acceptance speech, Kanye is all about, well, Kanye. And so, popping up on his then-wife's mega-hit reality show was inevitable. But shouldn't I just keep this for, like, my daughter one day? Um. Sometimes yes. silence is the best response. Unfortunately, many said his appearances on the program led to overexposure, taking his status down a notch. 
Though his subsequent controversial behavior off the show also contributed to this, his mental health issues shouldn't be ignored either. Number 2. Caitlyn Jenner Caitlyn Jenner became a strong voice for the often voiceless, championing the transgender community on her own reality show, I Am Kate. Caitlyn was a renowned inspiration. That all changed, however, when Jenner revealed that she was a Ted Cruz and President Trump supporter. Just because I'm a woman now doesn't make me all of a sudden liberal. Caitlyn's fans found her opinions to be hypocritical, especially considering Cruz was a vocal supporter of the controversial anti-trans bathroom bills. Angry and disappointed, viewers stopped watching in droves, and I Am Kate got cancelled after only two short seasons. Number 1. Lamar Odom Lamar Odom was a well-respected player for the Los Angeles Lakers when he started dating Khloe Kardashian and appearing regularly on her family's popular reality series. It wasn't long before the couple spun off their own show, launching themselves into celebrity power couple territory. Things quickly fell apart, however, when Khloe filed for divorce amid infidelity rumors, and Lamar went down a dark rabbit hole of substance use disorder that nearly cost him his life. No longer with the NBA, Odom has been fighting an uphill battle to get his life back on track ever since. Could you even fathom what, what your body had been through? No, I mean, I really still can't. All my doctors say I'm a walking miracle. 